Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie, and for today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to prevent mites in your reptiles and also how to treat them and get rid of them completely. Now, I have experience with mites. Unfortunately, I had a mite issue because I did not know any better and it was an issue for quite a while, but I finally ended up finding a solution that worked for me and it completely got rid of all of my mites almost immediately. So I wanted to share this information with you. It's very important. Having mites is super scary. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, mites are these teeny tiny little bugs that you can find on your reptiles, on snakes and lizards, and they live under the scales and they feed off of your reptile and it can ultimately end up in their death if they go long enough without being treated. I'm going to be teaching you guys how I got rid of mites and also how you can prevent them. So please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you find it to be helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And without further ado, let's learn how to get rid of mites, shall we? Now, before we get started with this video, a little bit later on, I'm gonna show you a couple products that I used that I found to be super helpful for me and it's not sponsored by any means whatsoever. These are just genuinely products that actually worked for me and different tactics I used that actually worked. So I wanted to share it with you guys, all right? So first off, I'm gonna teach you guys how to prevent mites. Now the first thing you can do to prevent bringing home mites to your other reptiles is whenever you go to a reptile shop, a pet store, a reptile expo or whatever, and whenever you're handling reptiles just in general, you wanna always wash your hands, sanitize your hands between handling every reptile you come in contact with. This will help you not only prevent spreading mites to different things, but also it will prevent spreading different illnesses to other reptiles. You can go to a reptile expo and touch some reptiles that have mites. And if you don't wash your hands thoroughly after doing so, you can go home and if you touch one of your reptiles, then boom, they have mites. It's really that easy. So the number one thing you can do is to wash your hands whenever you are handling reptiles. This will possibly save you from the hassle of having a mite infestation in your reptile room. The next thing is whenever you are looking into buying a reptile and you're about to bring it home, always, always make sure to thoroughly check the reptile for any mites or really any other illnesses or diseases for that matter. Before you purchase a reptile, you wanna thoroughly inspect it and make sure it seems healthy. And you also want to inspect it for mites. And the way you can do this is to closely look at its skin and see if you see any little black dots moving around. And if you do, it has mites. Now you have to look very, very closely. Mites can be different sizes. Sometimes they're literally the size of a speck of dust almost and they're hard to see. And other times they can be a little bit bigger. But the main places you wanna look are kind of like underneath the scales, if there are any vents or holes on their faces. So on the face is a good place to look and also just throughout their whole body. Sometimes on reptiles, it's harder to see mites depending on what the specific animal is because some animals are darker in color and then it can be harder to see the mites. So what I always like to do is I take my hand and I swipe it down the animal's entire body. I kind of just give it one very long pet and then I look at my hand and see if I can see mites on my hand and I'll do it multiple times on different parts of the reptile's body and just look at your hands and see if you can see any mites crawling around and if you don't, then that's a very good sign. If your reptile seems like it's all good, you can bring it home, but whenever bringing a reptile home, this is the next most important thing and that is to always quarantine new animals that you bring home because even if you don't see mites right away, sometimes it can take a while for them to actually show up. And this is where I went wrong because I did not know the importance of quarantining animals about a year ago when I brought home my blue tongue skink. Of course, I didn't see anything wrong with my blue tongue skink, so I didn't quarantine it and I just brought it home. I put it in its enclosure on my rack with my other reptiles. And then a couple months later, mites showed up on him and then the mites ended up traveling from him to a couple of my other snakes. And it was a huge headache for me to say the least and I really wish I knew how important it was to quarantine. So I can't stress this enough. Whenever you bring a new reptile home, always make sure to quarantine them for at least 60 days. And the way you do this is you take its enclosure and you set it up in a room where you don't have any other animals and you want to use paper towel for the substrate 
and this is mainly just because mites can easily burrow inside of substrate and it's harder to see mites if they're on substrate, but it's a lot easier to see them if they're on paper towel. And you just wanna quarantine them for 60 days in a separate room with paper towel for the bedding. If 60 days goes by and you still don't see any mites, then you should be cleared to move the reptile to wherever you wanna move them. And it's very important to quarantine not only to prevent spreading mites to your other reptiles, but it can also help you prevent spreading other illnesses or diseases to your other reptiles. And even while you're at home handling reptiles, always make sure to sanitize your hands after handling one reptile and then going to another one. You always wanna sanitize even while you're at home just to be extra cautious. Now, moving on to how to actually treat mites once you realize that your reptile does have mites. Before we actually get into treating them, I'm gonna tell you guys how to tell that your reptile might have mites. Because yes, obviously, like I said, you can physically look at your reptile and see if you see the mites, but there are other ways to kind of suspect that your reptile might have mites before you actually go and inspect them more closely. And that is if you notice your reptile is soaking in its water dish a lot more than usual, or if it seems more irritable, or if it has a decreased appetite, these are all signs that your reptile might have mites and you wanna do a more thorough inspection of them. If you're noticing that your reptile is soaking in its water dish, this usually means that it is trying to drown the mites. So that is why this is a sign that they have mites. And you can also look in the water dish and see if you see little black specks floating around in there as well. And this could also be a sign that they have mites. So once you realize that your reptile has mites, you're gonna wanna quarantine them. So this is basically the same thing as when you quarantine an animal that you just brought home, except the first thing you wanna do once you realize your reptile has mites, is take out all the substrate, throw it away. Any wood that you have in there, you wanna take out and either throw it away, or you can try to kill the mites by baking the wood or boiling the wood. And I wouldn't put the wood back in there until after your reptile is cleared for mites, just cause the more wood that's in there, the harder it'll be to completely get rid of the issue. So you wanna take the enclosure out of the room that it's in, if there are any other reptiles in that room and move it somewhere where you don't have any other animals and you wanna thoroughly clean it out. Now, what I use to clean out reptile enclosures that have mites is Dawn dish soap. I don't know why, but Dawn dish soap kills mites. So you wanna thoroughly wipe out the entire enclosure with Dawn dish soap and then rinse it out and wipe it dry. Now, the two products I actually use to kill the mites are Natural Chemistry Reptile Spray. Now this I have found at Petco and they also usually sell them at reptile expos or you can buy them online. And the other product I use is Preventamite. Now this one is a little bit harder to find. I have never seen this at a chain pet store like PetSmart or Petco, but I always see this at reptile expos. Sometimes they have them at like local pet stores or as a last resort, you could probably just order this online. Now I will say I started off using the Natural Chemistry Reptile Spray and didn't see much of an improvement. Now, as soon as I started using Preventamite with the Natural Chemistry Reptile Spray, that's when the mites all disappeared almost immediately. So I will say Preventamite is a must in my opinion and in my experience. The Natural Chemistry Reptile Spray is what you're actually gonna spray on your animal to kill the mites on your animal. Whereas Preventamite is what you're gonna spray throughout your reptile's enclosure to prevent the mites from coming back. And keep in mind while using both of these sprays that they both produce fumes. So when you're using these in a room, you wanna make sure it's well ventilated. If you have any birds at home, make sure you don't have any birds around because birds are very, very sensitive to fumes. So you don't wanna use these around birds. And you also don't want to use these in the same room that you might have any pet tarantulas, uh, scorpions, dubia roaches, or feeder insects in general, because the fumes from these will end up killing them. So remove any insects, any tarantulas, or anything like that from the room before using these. So starting off with a natural chemistry reptile spray, what I like to do is put your snake or lizard in a container that they can't get out of because you're gonna wanna spray them down with this all over until you know they're well covered in this and let them soak in it for about an hour. And it says on the directions here, which you're gonna wanna follow, that you don't wanna spray it directly in your reptile's face or in their eyes. 
So I just spray it all over their body and then I'll kind of rub it around with my hand. And you can also spray this on a paper towel and wipe down your reptile all over with it. But I find it's easier to get a full coverage by just spraying them with this and then rubbing it around with my hands. And then, like I said, you're gonna wanna leave your reptile in the container for about an hour to just kind of sit on the spray. And then I like to rinse the spray off with warm water and really thoroughly rinse it off of your reptile before introducing my reptile to its enclosure. I will also soak the lizard or snake that I'm treating in warm water for about 10 minutes just to try to drown any remaining mites that could possibly still be on it. And then before introducing the reptile back into its enclosure, you want to use the preventamite. Now this is where things get kind of confusing to me because when you're quarantining animals that you have just brought home, like I said, you wanna put them on paper towel. However, when you're using this, the directions say to not spray this in an enclosure that does not have substrate in it. If you're gonna bring an animal home to quarantine it to make sure it doesn't have mites, you wanna use paper towels so you can see the mites. But if you already know that your animal has mites and you're just treating it for mites and you're quarantining it, then I will say use a light substrate of whatever you usually use, whether that be eco earth or cypress mulch or whatever. And then you're gonna spray the preventamite all over the enclosure. You wanna spray it all over the walls, spray it all over the substrate, and spray it all over the hides. Now, what's very important though, is to make sure when you're spraying all over the enclosure, take out the water dish because you don't want your reptile to ingest this and this will absorb into the substrate and get all over the walls and the hides and basically if any mites come in contact with this it will kill them so i was very reluctant when i was treating my blue tongue skink and my snakes for mites to have them on substrate with mites because to me that just made no sense but i didn't want to go against the directions on this so I put substrate in their enclosures and I sprayed the substrate thoroughly, mixed it around, sprayed it again, and sprayed all over the enclosure with this. And ever since I did that, I haven't had mites. So it does work. It, it's very confusing that you leave the substrate in there, but I guess it just kills all of the mites that could be in the substrate. Now, when you spray the entire enclosure with this, you do wanna make sure it all dries completely before you actually put your reptile back in its enclosure. And like I said, make sure that the room is well ventilated and you don't have any birds, tarantulas, feeder insects, anything like that. And basically this will kill any mites that come in contact with the enclosure for up to two weeks. So after the two weeks is up, I'll throw away all the substrate in there. I'll clean out the enclosure really well all over again, put substrate back in, spray it all again, and then I'll wait another two weeks and I'll do this until the 60 day quarantine period is over. And if I haven't seen mites in 60 days, then I will stop treatment. I won't use this anymore. So then I will wait another 60 days after treating the reptile in the enclosure for mites. And if it can go 60 days without being treated and also without me seeing mites, then that is when I will feel comfortable with introducing them back into the room with all my other reptiles. That is basically how I got rid of my mites. So basically, just to do a brief overview, first treat your reptile with the Natural Chemistry Reptile Spray, clean out their enclosure with Dawn dish soap, put a little bit of substrate in there, spray everything down with the Preventamite, let it dry, and then put the water dish back in there afterwards, and then put your reptile back in there and repeat that process every two weeks until it has been 60 days. And then stop treatment if you haven't seen any mites. And if you don't see mites for another 60 days, then you should be in the clear. Now, this is just what worked for me. I know some people will disagree with the fact that I had substrate in there while I was treating them for mites. I'm not saying that this is the only way you can get rid of mites. I'm just saying this is what worked for me. But if you guys have any tips or tricks that that you can share with us in the comments, then please do let me know how you got rid of your mites or any products you recommend. If you guys found this video to be helpful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week. Also, don't forget to check out my social media and my vlog channel. The links to those will be in the description down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.